it was not until my return to YouTube that I realized that I don't, I don't need this thing. I could just put my camera on my ring light. Hello, I'm back. Let's see how long this lasts. If you, if you live, one more time, one more, one more, one more, one more time. We got this. If you live, <laughs> if you live on this planet, you should know about the literal pandemic going on. I never went back to school. I had the rest of my school year online. I made a video talking about how school closed and I was ranting about it and it was only the second day of, I guess you'd say quarantine? I don't know what to call it anymore. Here is part two. I finished school at home because of the coronavirus and I am ranting about it. Is the camera focused? God damn it. French. <laughs> French was just like super easy, especially since we could basically just look at the vocabulary sheets when we took our assessments. It was so easy. I did the final 100% in Google Translate and I'm pretty sure I got like a 19 out of 20. So French, 10 out of 10. Math. This is a little bit different from the original video because I mentioned that we had to do homework but the teacher never checked it so I never did the homework. Got diagnosed with cool guy syndrome yesterday. <laughs> so now I take Adderall. <laughs> I still probably got a pretty good grade on the final. Math, I guess I do, I don't remember what I did last time. I think it was in the negatives. Negative one out of 10. I guess I'll do like a five out of 10 for math because we still had to do the Google Meets and that was the only class that I had to do that for. English. We didn't really do anything in English. I think the first couple weeks we did like vocab quizzes and we had to finish reading Animal Farm, but then we just kind of did like one of the things we had to do was like try something new. Not gonna lie, that assignment stressed me out, but then it was like in the middle of the night and I'm like, I wanna make a Buzzfeed quiz. And then I realized I could do that for my assignment. I got a pretty good grade on it. In the final, uh, it was just an essay and I like threw some bull crap in there and got a pretty good grade on it. So I guess I'd give English like a seven out of 10, only because it was good. I almost said it was good in the beginning. It was bad in the beginning because there was assignments that I had to take on my Chromebook. I couldn't do it on this computer. And I had to read it all the time and it was stressful. Science was great. Basically it was the same thing as the first video. It was just we get an assignment, we get some notes, and that's it. So science compared to last time I'd probably do a 10 out of 10. Social studies. It was practically the same as being in the classroom. We just got the assignments, I copy and pasted the answers from the documents that were given to me, and that was that. So since it was pretty much the same, um, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. The final... What was the social studies final? Oh, yikes. I got like a 70 something on that. So I'm gonna knock that down to a 4 out of 10 because I was not good at social studies. I guess that's my fault, but 4 out of 10. Oh my goodness, I can see the light in the reflection. <laughs> Digital design. My teacher, she gave us a big chunk of assignments, but then after that, every week we had to do one. Originally, we were closed for a few weeks, so that's why all of the assignments were there, which wasn't a big deal to me because I could whip up something in Photoshop super quickly, but I'd still give digital design a 10 out of 10 because I enjoy the class. I wish I could have done more in the classroom because it's a fun class and I basically was just doing stuff that I already knew, so I wish I could have learned something, but I mean, it's not my fault because not everyone has Photoshop, so we had to work with the free programs. I feel like I'm missing a class. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, I feel like this is going on way too quickly. Gym. So for gym, we just had to go on this website, mark that we exercised, and that was it. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a final for gym, but I couldn't get on the Google Classroom, so that's not good. So I guess I'd do like an 8 out of 10 because I was allowed to be lazy, but at the same time they didn't give me the proper access to the Google Classroom. So, wrong, 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 wrong. now that all that's over, I wanted just to do a quick explanation as to why I took the break. I was experiencing a little bit of burnout because, you know, I was posting videos every week and I wanted them to be good and I wanted people to watch them. And I just got to remember that it's not important if people watch my videos or not because it's fun to do and I love editing videos. I love doing 
all the memes and all the edits and it's fun because I watch my videos back and I laugh at myself but along with school and finals and school not being in session and normal it was taking a toll on my mental health and I don't want to be that type of person to be like oh like pity me because because I'm, I'm taking a break from YouTube because of my mental health I don't want anyone to feel bad for me because it's my fault it's my fault that I let everything get to me. I let the burnout get to me. I let the I, I, I let everything get to me. So I, I don't want any pity comments. I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. Um it was a funny story. I remember I was going to record Reading Machine Gun Kelly fanfiction too and it got to the point where I couldn't be funny. And this video isn't funny and it's still a struggle for me where I want this channel to go. Do I want it to go in a funny direction or do I want it to go in a serious direction? And that's why I I don't think anyone sees this, but in the about section of my channel I say I make videos about what I want and hope people watch them. And that's really what I want to do, which is very hard because to be a YouTuber you gotta have a thing, but I don't want to have a thing. I don't want to just make videos about one specific thing because it's keeping me in a box. And I don't want to be in a box. So, yeah, that's why I took a little break. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing YouTube now that I'm back, but it's something that I enjoy and it's something that I want to keep doing. So, yeah. Um, also, I think I'm going to be posting on a different day because posting on Thursday was just kind of awkward for me. So I'm thinking either Friday or sometime on the weekend because then it gives me the entire week and I mentally just kind of go by week. So like Monday is the start of a new week, I film, and then I have the rest of the week to edit and upload my video. So I don't know. Um, so yeah, here's two more videos, I guess. I don't know how to end this.